and this is the point where we discuss money and today we'll be talking about real estate real estate has become a popular investment vehicle over the last 50 years it has long been considered a sound investment and for good reason now joining us to discuss this we have the md and ceo p1 atlantic property network limited bolaji osage or no larger he is a global multiple award-winning real estate celebrity. And on the show today, we are discussing major ways to generate steady income from real estate. Good morning, and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Margarita. All right. Now, talk about real estate. Real estate, according to what I just said, is been, uh, it's been over the years, the, it's capital intensive, yes, but it's been said to have a lot of return of investment. So could you just tell us what the business of real estate is in Nigeria? Actually, uh, business of real estate uh, is a lucrative business uh, for people that are ready to assert. Business of real estate is all about serving humanity. It's all about doing your due diligence to make sure you put a spot on people's face. Apart from that, it's an aspect of empowering people is an aspect of uh, adding your own quota to add more value to uh, the economy. Well, real estate investment is a booming opportunity for every focused investor throughout the world. So in Nigeria, real estate uh, has been a platform for uh, a lot of investors to have high return on their investment. And also, it has, uh, through my company, P1 Group, Real estate has been a platform to empower the world. Because, uh, we have a platform in real estate to empower as many people as possible in order to help the government alleviate poverty. All right, now, real estate, how, how lucrative is real estate and how has it been over the past 50 years? 50 years? Or as long as you can remember. <laughs> okay, that's fine. If you say uh, 50 years, actually, it's a trend. Real estate is a trend. Uh, due to civilization and the modernization of our things, uh, things are changing over the years. You know, we are now in the in the Y2K compliance state where we operate digitally, not like uh, the conventional um, start of operating real estate. Actually, uh, real estate has been lucrative in such a way that uh, if you can give it the time to learn at it, work at it, uh, get uh, so much experience from your wealth, wealth of experience, then you can practice as a real estate practitioner. You know, uh, if you don't go through the intense training and a mentorship, you can't uh, you can't function well in the industry. It has been created in such a way that uh, we've been able to. Uh, raise a lot of financial leaders in the real estate industry of Nigeria. And we've been able to also help a lot of investors uh, get value for their money. For example, according to the vision of my company, which is to make, which is to make home ownership dreams a reality. So we have this mission to discover our real estate development areas and make it public. So now in that aspect, we've been able to help a lot of investors both foreign and local, get a place where they can invest in. Without government encumbrance, uh, without uh, Omonile Wahala, a lot of clients out there have invested through us. And uh, can you imagine, most of them are having high return on their investment. Why? Because they are investing in a fast developing area. For example, now let's take uh, an area like Ibejuleki, a case study. Ibejuleki is uh, denoted as the business hub of West Africa in Lagos State, which is sitting more than $200 billion in multinational projects. We have projects like uh, the new Dangote Industries, Atlantic University, uh, Dangote Jetty, uh, Lekki Beach, and a lot of housing and industrial estates. Now, this environment is attracting both foreign and local investors. Now, we, have, we all know that uh, every investor that invests in this area there's no how their investment will not appreciate over the, over the years. So as a real estate company, P1 Group, I uh, will set the platform to make sure they get a genuine real estate product, which uh, they can have, which can give them peace of mind. So uh, just 
take a case study. Someone I invested at one million uh, three years ago. Now the value of the investment is five million. Why? Because of the fast the development in the access which we are positioning our real estate products. We are not just limited in uh, Lagos. We are we span across the country. East, go to Weri, Asaba, uh, Ogun State, uh, or your states, uh, even Charaba. Can you imagine? So now, uh, according to our vision, we don't just uh, situate real estate products anywhere. We situate uh, real estate products in an area with great infrastructural landmarks, which will ease uh, the productivity of uh, every kind of investment. So that is the aspect I, I'm talking about. That is the prettiness I'm talking about. In, in other aspect of empowerment, We've created an empowerment platform to empower so many real estate practitioners. Now, it is not limited to the young. It is for the young and old. Now, this platform is a platform to train people on effective real estate management, to train people on how to uh, advise clients, because all these people are advisors. Actually, it's a platform to depopulate the kingdom of poverty in Africa, not just Africa, in the entire world. Now, we've created a PBO system where people can come in, sign up, and get trained. They train over several months before they start functioning. Okay. By the grace of God, we've empowered more than 200,000 people through this empowerment platform. Okay, I would like to butt in here. You've spoken extensively on how lucrative um, real estate is. And we know quite well that oftentimes you have um, business coaches and financial analysts advise people to invest into real estate. So please, can you kindly help us with tips on how to invest smartly in real estate? Okay, that's fine. Our first tip on how to invest in real estate is number one, first of all, look for a reputable real estate company okay. with high integrity. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, I think network issues there, but um, it talks about looking for a real, you know, a, 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 an authentic. Let's put it that way. Real estate company that could. Hello. Are you there? Well, he's back here. Okay. You have the floor. He's kind of shit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I talked about, uh, first of all, uh, checking out for a real estate company that is authentic, okay. uh, that is with wealth of experience, with delivery. Then uh, after that, we check out of uh, the credibility of the investment. You do your due diligence. Due diligence entails checking out the real estate products you want to invest in, whether they don't live on the property, or there's no any form of encumbrance. That's uh, that the second aspect. Then the third aspect is you check out the realtor, the real estate practitioner that is introducing or that is offering you the real estate products or investments. Okay. So these are the key uh, aspects of checking out uh, before you go into uh, any investment. Okay, um, that, that, those who will tell you that real estate is capital intensive and it's in quote for the rich, that the average Nigerian can't afford it. For example, someone earning 200,000 um, can't afford to invest in real estate. I would like you to one, either affirm or debunk you know, that notion. Then two, how can the average Nigerian, probably earning 200 to 50,000, invest smartly in real estate business? Actually, I want to change that notion that, notion that uh, real estate is only for the rich. Mm. No, real estate investment is for everybody. Everybody that is focused to own real estate. You see, uh, the poor can own real estate. It all depends on how disciplined they are. Somebody earning 200,000 can save 50,000 every month. Can even save 100,000. I'm talking about myself. Gone are the days when I was earning little. I saved more than 50 cents so that I can build, I can build a resounding future, which I'm enjoying right now. So it all depends on discipline. We have a, an investment package that enables low-income earners 
to own plots of land in secured estates. And all these uh, um, salary earners, entrepreneurs, to own real estate by keying into this offer. So uh, we also have plans for cooperatives. Cooperatives can come together, we can cover up an estate which they can pay over the period of time. So it is not when you have the capital, the big capital, before you can invest in real estate. So by the grace of God, through our company, P1 Atlantic, we've created a platform like that for both low-income earners, average income earners, and all entrepreneurs to own a portion of real estate. All right. Okay, quickly as we wrap up. Now, what are some of the risks involved in the business of real estate? Quickly, please. Actually, uh, the risk involved in uh, real estate is the motivating aspect mm. of real estate. Because now, uh, if you are saying you don't want to take risks, you're not ready to grow. The world is created for risk takers. The role model we are seeing today are the great risk takers. Remember, the, the size or the magnitude of a business empire now and the future we will determine on the amount of risk you take. Yeah, there are a lot of risks everywhere in every other sectors. The risk involved in real estate is number one, you not doing your due diligence okay. before investing in real estate. It's one of the biggest risks. All right, I think we just we, we just wrap it up there for the want of time. We won't be able to take more of this. But we appreciate you. Thank you so much, Balaji, for joining us on the show today. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, that was where we call it a wrap on the money segment today. I hope you learned a lot of things, and we're sure you have, because we did while you're in the studio. Now, joining us next is social media boards, and Perpetra Fasomi Peter will be right here in the studio with us. But that would happen after the short break. Please stay tuned. <laughs>